everybody. Carlos and Maria here doing our very first podcast. And what are we going to talk about? The coronavirus. the coronavirus. What else? This is what's going on in the world today. We have a lot of questions and we have a lot of things that we've been thinking about. One of the biggest things that we've been thinking about is where is the common sense today? Of course, everybody has been watching what's going on in the news and the economic situation that's really affecting everyone. And it's scaring people, and we know it. Um, we are wondering, what did our parents do? This isn't the first event that we've had in our lifetimes, and I know it wasn't the first event that our parents lived through. And they, they made it through the Depression. They made it through the World Wars. They survived 9-11. And they pulled their families together. They pulled their communities together. And they made decisions that were going to affect their lives. Day-to-day -day decisions that affected their communities. That is how we get ourselves together, we move forward. We have to rely on each other. We have to rely on our communities. We have pulled together in really bad times. And we've actually been the ones to show the, the governments how they needed to solve these problems. Yes, you know what? There are millions of people out of work right now and their families are going hungry. But we need to go to these farms that are ha that have are growing foods food but they don't have people to pick their crops. And families can start picking their own crops and maybe even trading other things for food. We can uh, use the milk industry, the dairies that are dumping milk down the drain because they don't have the schools to deliver them to. They don't have the um, capacity to deliver these to businesses like they used to, restaurants like they used to. So we go to these dairies and we use these, uh, the same method. We trade with them maybe vegetables that we've picked, we trade for milk, so that we can still continue to move forward. We cannot let fear and politics and the news media pull us apart. So what are your thoughts on this? Well, I have been thinking about the whole situation and I do believe that life as we know it doesn't exist anymore. Um, everything has changed. Well, that might very well be true, but it's really up to us whether or not we let it become a devastating reality. I have been thinking about the whole situation and I can see that life as we once knew it is gone. We suddenly woke up one day and everything has changed. The magic in Disney World is turned off. The couples in love are no longer coming to Paris. New York, the city that never sleeps, is actually asleep and at the moment nobody wants to travel anywhere. Suddenly we actually realize how fragile we are. We don't know if the damage was done on purpose or if it was just our responsibility. Nevertheless, the threat is bigger and bigger every day. We laugh with online jokes only because we don't want to get nervous and lose our minds. We can no longer shake hands. Hugs and kisses are now very dangerous weapons. And the lack of products and the high prices everywhere show us how selfish some people can be. Some people are so selfish that they say, there is no problem, everything is fine, the virus only takes the older people, 
as if they didn't have any parents or would never age themselves. To those who think that way, I have a scenery for you. What if all your loved ones were actually infected and you knew you would lose them forever? Put yourself into this position. The question is, do any of us really have the right to decide who lives and who dies? I don't think so. The answer is no. But many people want to exercise their rights and take decisions on their own. Now we realize that we cannot even decide for our life. There is a partial state of martial law worldwide. There is fear, isolation, sickness, people panic and overbuy unnecessary things like toilet paper and lots of food that will go bad in no time. Others give their opinion and stoke their panic and stigma in others. Other people claim to have found may believe cures for this virus. Politicians and scientists are told what to say in front of the media and lie to the people right off. People want to leave their houses because they're bored. They don't believe, they don't care, and thousand more unfounded reasons. Please do not give any opinions on this matter. Stay to the facts. You don't need to be a doctor or a scientist to have a common sense and realize that this is a serious situation. Social distancing, staying at home, wearing a mask and wearing gloves helps to delay the transmission of the viral infection. We need to be strong and pull ourselves together. The economy is not doing well all around the world. But if the borders are open again without the people being ready, there is a high risk of going back to state one. This means that all our efforts of eradicating the virus would be unsuccessful. The virus will hit us stronger as before, and this would be devastating for mankind. If you want to know more about this topic, stay with us uh, in our next podcast. Yes, we'll be back to try and give more insight on this and other subjects. Um, feel free to send us any comments or messages or questions that you'd like for us to try and ask, answer for you.